breaking news from News 8. Good evening. The Police Accountability Board drawing, quote, disturbing parallels between two arrests made by Rochester police. Board members say they're disgusted after reviewing body cam footage from an arrest in February. We warn you that the footage may be difficult to watch. It shows a Rochester police officer trying to arrest a woman in the presence of her three-year-old child. We have team coverage on local reaction and RPD's response to the PAB with Christian Garzon. But first, let's get the details of the arrest and the PAB from Atia Collins. Atia? Well, John, the PAB is calling this incident very disturbing. You heard at the top of the show, the board chair, Shawnee Wilson, saying this arrest took place on February 22nd and it did not have to happen. They are calling for greater training in the Rochester Police Department and a fundamental change in policing policies. Now, here's a rundown of exactly what the PAB said when they watched the film last night. The footage you're seeing shows a male officer attempting to arrest a woman who the officer believed may have stolen items from a nearby drugstore. The woman refused. The woman also refused to leave the facility, and that's what sparked the call to the Rochester Police Department. The woman runs with her three-year-old to a nearby storefront, and you can see the officer tackles, later pepper spraying the woman as another officer arrives and tries to pull the child away. After the woman is placed into the back of a police car and driven away, the officers confronted a bystander who was filming the scene. Now the PAB is calling that confrontation between the bystander and the police intimidation. When it comes to the woman in an email, the board members say the woman was charged with trespassing. Shiny Wilson, the chair, also compared this incident to the one that happened just last month when a nine-year-old girl was pepper sprayed. A mother was thrown to the ground in the presence of her three-year-old child. And so what we would like to see is the handling of things being handled in a way that shows sensitivity. The PAB is calling for the release of the body-worn footage and for all RPD training materials. They also want a public meeting with RPD leaders to discuss how police policies and procedures can be improved moving forward. We'll have more from the board coming up at 5 and 6 o'clock. Reporting, Atia Collins, News 8. All right, Atia, thank you very much. Now we turn to Christian Garzone, who is response from the Rochester Police Department and local leaders. Christian, what are they saying here? Well, John, with the Police Accountability Board demanding better training and change when it comes to calls like these, the Locust Club president, Mike Mazio, is saying if people are asking for change, well, let's see that then from City Hall and the police chief's office. RPD is saying that change is on the way. Now, police say the arrest that occurred was a woman who was caught shoplifting. The police pepper sprayed and then arrested the woman. Her three-year-old child was not pepper sprayed and was not injured during the arrest, they say. The woman was charged with trespassing and given an appearance ticket. The officer has been placed on administrative duty until an internal investigation has been completed. Mazio is calling the, the demands from the city leaders a lot of politics and is asking for a clear direction for change to be implemented immediately. Mazio says with many of these incidents coming to light, there has not been one change or training uh, to policy as a result. He's open to change, but is calling on the city to end the politics with things like this and to help make the alterations and tactics and techniques they want to see for the city's 700 police officers. RPD says changes will soon be underway in the ranks. But yet it's important to know that we're making progress. Uh, some of the policies that we're going to be rolling out is juvenile detention policies. And that's going to address how we handcuff ch children, how we deal with them, things of that nature. So we'll be having a new policy with respect to that. I'm sure there's a statement from the mayor already out there. Tell me how tomorrow that changes anything. Tell me how when a, a, a girl was handcuffed up on 104, what changed since that period? Or what changed after segmenting was used and was a concern? There's not been one change to any major incident of public concern that has occurred. And the mayor did make a statement today calling for the termination of the officers involved, also commending the chief for already moving forward with police reform well before that deadline uh, by the state on April 1st. In Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8, John.
Back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. Police departments were given until April 1st to make changes to policies and procedures. Mayor Warren says their draft plan for changes will be updated with community feedback, then submitted to City Council for review next week.